Hey folks, it's Grimlet. Doing things a little casual. Because I'm a casual Let's Player. And that's what we do. So let me tell you what's up. I'm doing two Let's Plays. You've seen me do that before. But the Let's Play for uh, High School Dreams, Best Friends Forever, takes a lot of editing. Because everything's done in post. Well, this, this is just me playing. This is Card City Nights, and it's a casual adventure game. It's not... it's, it's kind of like, uh... Hearthstone Light. I'm not gonna read to you. I'm gonna assume you can read, because we're really just here for cards. I'll teach you how to play. There we go. All right, looks good. Okay. Uh, I don't even know what the housewarming gift is, but we just moved into town, into Card City. As you can see from our wonderful, wonderful taste in artwork. The first thing you should do in this game is click fucking everywhere. Everywhere you can click. Click all the things. No, I don't care. Click it. I did this once before, and I had to wipe out my game, because... Turns out, you can't just delete a game in this game. No, you, uh, you can't restart like that. What you do is you have to go into your user, profile, and windows, and then go into app data, and then you go under, what is it, electricity? Oh no, you go into local low, and then you go into electricity. Then you go into the folder named uh, Card City Nights, and then you delete all the text files. That's right. All of them. Let's get out of here. Oh good, a fish bun. <laughs> what? I like his stylish backwards cap. Very 90s. Okay, this is how you play the game. The rules are simple, but it gets quite deep. Your opponent doesn't look too intimidating. You know what? Fuck this. I'm just gonna show you how to do this, right? There are two ways that you can win. You can reduce this number right here, their defense, to, s to zero, and they die. I guess. Whatever. You can also... Uh, make it so that they cannot place any cards in the beginning of their turn. You have to place a card in the beginning of your turn. You draw a card and then you place a card. Anytime you can't draw a card, you take a point of damage. You start with a deck that goes from anywhere between 25 to 40 cards. Here's how you play. You have cards. They each have a little icon on them. It's either going to be a sword, a shield, a period, or a plus sign. Now you have to match three of those icons together with two or more cards. I say three icons because you don't have to match the symbols. He plays his cards, probably, yeah, Apathetic Frog. What's the use? Apathetic Frog doesn't do anything. You connect cards together by having the arrows touch, like that. Now since we need three icons, it's three, uh... These three swords are going to be all lined up, arrows touching each other, make a combo. Now each sword will do one damage. That does three damage to our friend, reducing him down to four. Now this is the defense card, and this is basically heals up your defense. Works the same way, you need three or more icons connected to each other via the arrows. Cards generally have arrows um, pointing in every which way. There we go. That heals us three points. Alright, now what they're talking about here is stupid. I didn't figure it out before. This is a disabled card. It means the card doesn't do anything. You can't remove it off the board. It doesn't have any effect. And you can't match it with anything. The arrows don't count. It's disabled. To enable it, what you need to do is you need to take one of these cards with a plus sign. 
Usually they have two plus signs. I remember when I said you have to match three or more icons on two or more cards. Well, this usually connects with any other icon. All you need is one other icon. Tutorial Bunny is my phone, by the way. And it lets you enable a disabled card. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. There we go. It's enabled. Provide. Yeah, now this is pretty good here. Um, attack, defense, revive, and neutral. Neutral doesn't do anything. It's just neutral. But it does have a purpose. Connecting three of the symbols of mixed types, the combo will always be the dominant type. What they mean is if you have two attack and one defense, then the I, what it's going to do will attack because there's two against one. But in case of ties, you choose whichever combo you want it to be. There are a couple of other rules. I'll cover it as we come across the cards. The cards are completely random. The game is not. That may not make sense, but it will in time. All right, Dorito Kid versus Fishbun, or as I call him, Fishburn. Let's use the Meh deck. All right, we get the winning flip. We have 20 cards to his 25. That puts us at a card disadvantage. Doesn't matter much. Um, I can tell you now, he is. Just, there's no way I can beat him down. He is just going to run out of spaces because he will randomly put cards together. He will not make any combos. So we might as well make a combo. Now this right here, yeah, let me show off what this does. Placement. Once this is placed down, it gives me a plus one to defense. That's why as soon as I place it down, I went from seven to eight. That guy right there. Ooh, a fish bun. It's just a fish bun. Now this here says defense combo. If I match this against uh, two or more defense shields, then I get a defense combo. That's that's kind of important because he has two attacks. That's, that's nearly impossible to use. This is a really weak card. Anyway, it revives a random disabled own card, one that we own, if we were playing this. Now, the problem with that, of course, is one, this depends on us having a disabled card on our board, and two, it depends on having two or more defense icons to match these two attacks. That's, that's a really Alright, gonna take this neutral guy, put him here, he's gonna give us two health, there we go. Now you cannot get more than ten health. When this is disabled, it gives a plus one defense, that's what that means. So, if this were on a board that we actually cared about, we wouldn't ever want to disable it. Hey look, it's Mark. Alright, let me give you an example of attack versus defense. Um, there we go. Where's the defense? I thought I had a defense. Oh, there's one attack icon, one defense icon. Here's one neutral icon. And it gives me a choice. I can either choose attack or defense. There's a third type in case I had a revive. In this particular case, we're going to use attack. Now, instead of going after his health, we're going to do one of these cards. We're going to say, oh, I don't know. We'll disable this card that I said would be really dumb to disable. I was going to do two things. One, it's going to disable this card. <laughs> it just means that he'll have to re-enable it. He won't, though. It's fish bun. He's just a fish bun. But it also means that he's going to get one defense. It's going to go from seven to eight. Boom. That does mean that he cannot match anything to this arrow right here. This is out of the game. It's just taking up space on his board. That's dangerous, and you'll see why here in a second. Let's attack some attackness. pretty nice. He's pretty normal. Actually, just a straw man with record play. Huh. I, I, got, I don't know. I haven't played uh, It'll Do yet. Attack icon, attack icon, and attack icon. Three attack icons, do three damage. Let's do it. Boom. It does not mean that we can disable three cards, however. We can only disable one card an attack. I know. So whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's put down an old man, because he's going to start this game, and he cannot place a card. Maybe we win. Alright. We get 
10 coins. Coins can be used later on to buy stuff. Mostly duplicates of cards you already own. Yeah, it's Excitable Student. I like Excitable Student. Which is... Um... I'm gonna guess with the boobs and the eyelashes that this is a... Starter deck, are you new in town? No, I'm not. I'm just new to cards. So you're playing with the Starter deck? Yeah, no, it won't do. Oh! Excitable Student's awesome. It means it'll do booster pack. Alright, let's see what we got here. Health Potion. Revive a random disabled own card, then remove this card. Okay, so this is automatically re-enable a card. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is a great card. Just placing it down does one damage to our opponent. And it's got two arrows. Hmm. Fish fun, fish fun, not great. Okay, rotate this card. Now here's what this does. This was, what it means is that at the start of every time my turn starts, this will flip upside down. That's what rotate means. And then it'll flip right side up on my next turn's beginning. Um, more useful than it sounds. It's just a little bit of a headache to use sometimes. Yeah, thanks. I feel better already. I will be doing grinding off screen. You guys won't have to see that. Because you grind for packs and coins. Yeah, yeah I can head to school first. Click all the things. All the things. Click everything. If it's a thing, you need to click on it. Uh, I broke the game. Oh god, what have I done? So that's what happens when, uh... <laughs> so that's what happens when the game breaks. Whoops! <laughs> Alright, well, looks like I can still click things. I happen to remember where most of these buttons are. Let's take a look at our deck real quick. Oh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I get it. This is how you, yeah, yeah I, I get it. Okay, this is important. You can only have five commons, three uncommons, and one rare in a deck. Decks can be anywhere between 25 and 40 cards. You want the most cards and the least amount of randomization. More, car more cards means you take less damage when you run out of cards, because you won't run out of cards. And uh, less randomization means you have better control over stuff that's going on. With that said, let's go ahead and throw this fire sword in. Might as well throw the fish buns in. It might be useful. If nothing else, I'll just... No, he's gonna take my deck, and I don't like him. Okay. Put in the flap flop, heal potion. Now one nice thing is you can right click on these guys and it will immediately jump to the card. So if you want more of, say, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Mildegrad, if you had more you could just start pulling it in there. That's pretty useful. You can also sort by alphabet, rarity, duplicates, how many duplicates you got, arrows, like what arrows are pointing where, I'm not sure how it sorts that, theme, did, don't know what that means. Icons, this means the icons here that you're matching up against. That's really useful, by the way. And then alphabet. Same with here. Mm. Oh, that's good. Let's change the icon a little bit. This is our starter deck. We're going to put a little pink bunny there. Okay, looks good. Hey, you know what? While I'm here, let's go ahead and go to our map. And we can change some things. Uh, this shows how much gold we have, our name, our icon, our win-loss ratio. We've only won one game and lost none, so infinity. But also, this allows us to kind of... Uh, oh, let me back up, back up. Okay, yes, thank... Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. I'm probably going to raise the battle speed maybe... I don't know. Like, a little bit every game... That's just how long it just kind of waits on the card. Lower the friggin' music. It's been really loud. Sound will leave okay, and ambience will put it like 60. Looks good. Saves for us. Okay, this question mark. Here's how to use the cards. Don't worry, I'll, I'll deal with it. Legendary cards are the only ones that... These are what we're after. We're after the eight legendary cards. 
most of the stuff is pretty 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 even to pick up on. This is the different locations that we can visit. Right now there's only one home street. Characters, Fishbun, and Excitable Student, there will be others. There are many, many characters. All of them based off of games I haven't played. And finally the map. You can only access that screen from the map screen. Hey, what's going on there? It's a little dude. I, uh, I haven't played your game. Wait, how's, how is Scott Pilgrim feeling today? Um, yeah, the big chess casino. They gave us the warming, warming house warming present. I don't know why, but maybe we work there. Hmm. Legendary cards. I like Loafer, too. I think... It's a, no. Lips, maybe. Girl? I'm guessing with the boobs, but... Could be a hormonal problem. The Card King is Grandpa. And we can, we can go against the Card King. There's like, I think, 180 different cards, so... Yeah. Okay. You just opened up a bar called The Cave that's on our map. I'll show that later. S'more. Hey, it's Excitable Student. What's up? Talk to people like fish on here. Rope. Ribbit. You think you get the idea here? Fish bun, do you just like chewing on cards and being cool? You need a power glove. It's so bad. Oh yeah, and before I forget, um, click on all the things. Click on all the things. I know there's another one somewhere around here. Where is it? I gotta click on all the things. Look at all the things. All right. Oh, uh, okay. One of the legendary cards located. We get to beat up children for their legendary cards. Why wouldn't we want to do that? Help me. Beating up these kids gives me boners and extra cards. Uh, we can go up against, against him, and we can go against, I mean, her. Go up against Excitable Student, or go up against Loafer. And Loafer, <laughs> I like Loafer. Coupons. Coupons how I get the booster packs. <laughs> Mag trash cans and magazines. Loafer uh, doesn't, um, doesn't mind digging around in trash for a couple of coupons. They're just as good as money. Yeah, I like George. Why don't you? What do you say to that, George? All right, let's go up against uh, Excitable Student. All right, Dorito Kid versus Excitable Student. We'll just pick our beginner pack. Okay, she goes first. Now, the thing with Excitable Student and Fishbun is they both have the same strategy. Throw down as many cards as fast as possible. Probably our best bet here is to uh, first figure out what can connect and what can't. Hmm. Here's a good combo. I am going to try and reduce Excitable Kid's health before she has the ability to lock herself out of the game. So that's going to be my strategy. Four cards, four turns, four damage. You, you mark my words. Check this out. For each attack icon, remember, you get one damage. Four card combo. Boom. Alright, now I need to do three more damage before... St this is very much up to luck. I need to get rid of some cards. Not too hard. Well, let's place this card first. Mm. I have four turns before she kills herself. Mm, let's see here. I need to do three damage. Let's throw that there. Alright. Oh, hey! Freed up some turns. Awesome. Now I can kill her before she is able to mess herself up. Let's 
see here. Okay, I can do this. Cannot be rotated. That's pretty nice, right there. Can't be rotated. Um, some cards can rotate your opponent's cards or your own cards, whatever. But uh, that, that makes sure it stays in one place. Now check this out. I got this card right here, connects to this card, and then I can connect to this card using that guy right here, using this dude. This is what neutral icons are mostly for. They may not have any special abilities, nor can they really do anything, but they can connect with more arrows. Most of these have like one or two arrows, but neutral cards tend to have uh, three or more arrows. Boom. We win. And we get a card. We get coins. Coins and cards and cards and coins. What do we got here? Jenny Fox, just placing this down under the board damages our opponent. That's cool. Jenny Tiger, I haven't seen this one. Uh, if this is stuck in an attack combo, which is pretty useful, uh, remove a target card. Hmm. Context. Could be useful, though. All right, cannot be rotated, otherwise, just a normal card. If this is in an attack combo, I can remove one of my own cards. Um, I'm not sure. I don't like this card. It's kind of dumb. And the old man. All right. Shun has much to say. Anything else to say? Yeah. They say a lot of stuff to you and just keep talking to people and they, they tend to have huge amounts of text that you can just talk to them with. <sighs> Food and dumpsters. See? That's why I like Loafer. She doesn't discriminate. Oh, that's why she's got the hat. It's sort of a sort of a cross between I don't even know. What? Why? <laughs> Surprises. I don't even know. Wait, I just realized Fishbun looks like one of those demon head fish that are like invading lakes or whatever. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and call it here. Got him in only one kind. Um, we'll, we'll just do two battles an episode and we'll, we'll call that good. So I'll see you guys, I guess, when I see you. Like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. You guys have nothing but fun. I'll see you in the next casual game. Just relax. Casual. Casual. Take off your clothes. <laughs>